Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Thanks for joining me. My name is Beth O'Reilly. I'm so excited to teach some C2 action, a 60 minute C2 flow followed by a a uh, 15 minute guided meditation. Um, love to know who's joining me. I've got the beautiful Lindsay Hurrigan, who is a soul sister friend of mine from Los Angeles. Hi, Carly from DC, thank you. Sasha, Emily, hi everyone. Thanks so much for joining this afternoon. Hi, Lindsay, thank you so much. Lindsay's going to be my moderator. Um, so if you have any questions or anything or wanna type into the chat function, she's there to support me as well. Hi, Amy from Sussex, England. So cool, awesome. Faith, Doug, hi. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, team, we'll get started here in a few minutes and about five minutes or so. And um, I've been really thinking about what lights me up right now. Uh, I actually live in beautiful sunny San Diego and to be honest, hi Diane, good to see you on live stream always. Thank you for being so consistent with your practice. Um, it's been kind of gloomy, super rainy over the last several days and just journaling and reflecting on what lights me up from within. Uh, and truly, hi Kim, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Uh, my students light me up, uh, whether it's on this live stream platform or in the yoga studio, whether we're connecting on social media or through text, um, you all light me up. So thank you for making the choice, which we will really tap into today as well, um, to be here and uh, to shine bright on our mat and really just go through this next hour exploring what lights us up um, and how we can focus on how we can make the choice, right? So type in the chat function, love to hear. Hi, Angela, I miss you so much. What lights you up right now? Hi, Noel, the sun came out for us today. I know, we already went on our walk. It's beautiful out, a little cloudy. Hi, John, thank you so much. Thanks for being here. John, what lights you up? Share in the chat function. Again, my name is Beth O'Reilly. I have amazing connecting with others. Jojo, thank you. Me too. Lindsay Horgan, that will be moderating and also helping me type in as we flow together today. If you happen to be, if you happen to join me last week, Angela, my two boys, Milo and Bodhi. Yes, I love your puppies. They're so adorable. They're like very photogenic, I must say. Leslie, seeing my face, thank you so much beautiful weather, cooking, yes, love to cook as well. Connecting lights me up, thanks Alex. Yes, same with me. It's fun to connect with all of you via live stream. Hi Steph, love you so much. Thank you for joining always. Steph Solaby out in the DMV market is one of my dearest friends, super amazing soul sister. You can find her on live stream multiple times throughout the week as well. She teaches a phenomenal body weight yoga sculpt along with yoga sculpt and C2. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much for joining us. Hi, Cheryl. Just joined. Awesome. We'll get started in a couple of minutes. Maggie. Hi. Sister time lights you up. I love that. I have a for a group of friends that I went to high school, or actually we went to college together, we danced together, and uh, one of my dear friends, her name's Mira, she might be joining us. She lives in Finland, and her daughter is my goddaughter, and they light me up, and we do a Zoom FaceTime every week just to see each other and connect, it's so fun. Hi Kimiko, thanks for joining. So team, just asking, what lights you up right now during this just really unique and interesting time within all of our lives. Flowers light me up as well. As you can see, I have my lovely yellow flowers in the background. Um, I have some other flowers around the house as well. They definitely just brighten my day, even if it's rainy and overcast. Great weather, yes. Hikes in Hawaii, oh, me too. Hi, Katie. Hi, Alex, thanks so much for joining. Alex, Zipper, what lights you up right now? Same thing, Kim Bauman, share in the chat function. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining. 
So today we'll be focusing on um, what lights us up from the inside out and sort of the sequence. Back for more, yay. Hi, Christine, thank you. Oh, Amy, I light her up. Thank you, Amy, love you so much. Uh, we'll be focusing on the third energy center and when I back up a little bit, which is the center around our core and our solar plexus and this energy center governs our, governs our ability to choose to show up to shine bright even in challenge and uncertainty so that's what we'll be diving into today and doing some twisting doing some yogi exercise called kriyas that help to awaken and light up and stoke our internal fire so it'll be a nice well-rounded um pretty high intense flow and I love to give options as well so it will still be accessible to all students. Um, team, if you have a candle, we'll be doing a, a, a walking guided meditation uh, and an option to have a candle. If you don't, I have one already at the top of my mat. You may or may not be able to see it with the, with the stool in the way. Um, if you don't have a candle, perhaps, hi Nicole, thanks for joining. Hi Pam. Um, Anything that really, a color, anything that's the color yellow, something that's just beautiful in your house that you would like to bring to your attention to focus on. So if you do have a candle, perhaps go and grab that right now. And then one other thing to grab for class is either a strap. I have like a long sleeve t-shirt, um, a towel. I'll be offering tons of layers today. And it's just nice if you have a yoga strap, go grab that. Um, so a candle, a yoga strap, or anything that's beautiful that you want to just put at the front of your mat to be just a focal point, an inspiration point, something that lights you up in your house that you can just look at. Hi, Karina, thank you for joining. And the question is what lights you up right now? Love to share it in the chat function. Hi, Renee. Happy belated birthday, Renee. Love you so much. Thank you so much for joining us. All right. So team, a candle if you have one, you can light it right now, just make sure it's out of the way of your mat or um, after, after class and for meditation. Again, just an option. You can also, um, I'll give ton, a dump, bunch of different options. You can close your eyes and just bring your gaze inward, but just to prepare for meditation. Um, and then either a strap or a t-shirt, a towel that will give you some length through your arms and your legs perhaps just as an option. All right. Hi, Alicia. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, Pam, the sun is out. So grateful today. My sweet baby boy. Yes, Nicole, your sweet baby boy is just magical. So sweet. I'm sure he lights you up every day and always. Hi, Joanne. Thanks for joining. All right. I'm going to change our music and bump it up a little bit. And if you want to meet me on your mat seated um, in a supported hero, hero's pose, which is sitting on your shins, and if that's not comfortable, you're always welcome to take a different seated position. If you have a yoga block or something else, um, a cushion, you're also welcome to use that. And again, Lindsay, thank you so much for moderating and chatting in for us today. All right, let's get started. So come, I'll face all of you just for the first part of class because we will be doing some variations with our arms. So come to a kneeling position and just bring your palms either down if you need some grounding energy this afternoon or up if you just need to receive a little more energy this afternoon. Roll your shoulders down onto your back. Lengthen from your tailbone all the way through the crown of your head. And if you have that candle you wanna place it out in front of you or just close your eyes or bring your gaze inward and just tune into your breath. Take a slow and mindful breath in through your nose. A slow and mindful breath out through your nose. Just adjust this a tiny bit. Thank 
That's good. Nice slow breath in through your nose. Nice slow breath out through your nose. Two more, full breath in. Grounding breath out. One more, inhale. Center. 
Exhale, bring your palms out in front of your knees. Roll your shoulders onto your back. Smile through your collarbones and then bring your palms back so your fingertips line up with your kneecaps. You're welcome to stay here. Broaden through your collarbones or pendant pose variation. Let's start to stoke our internal fire right away. Lift your knees up off of your mat. Smile your collarbones, draw your shoulder blades down, and then squeeze your legs into your core. You're welcome to stay here or float one foot up off the mat just for four. Breathe well, you can do it. Three, I'm here with you. Yes, last two. Ooh, I'm shaking, other side, one, and then lift the opposite foot for just four. Push down through your fingers, open through your chest, three. Soften through your face, last two, lift your knees in. Ooh, and one, lower all the way down. Roll your shoulders onto your back, come through tabletop position, take a full breath in, curl your toes underneath you, exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips high, going to check in with the, the sound. Lindsay, how's the sound doing? And can you see my mat, if you don't mind giving me a little note? Team, as you're in downward facing dog, just find some organic movement here through your body. That's pretty good. Spread your fingers nice and wide. And as you plug down through your finger pads, wrap your triceps back to broaden through your chest. Sounds great, and yes, the mat is for us. Thanks, Lynn, appreciate that. And then everyone, look back at your feet. Make sure your feet are hip distance. Always permission, you always have a choice. Bring your feet wider if you'd like. And just bring your heels in line with your second and third toe. Roll your inner thighs towards the back of your mat, and then hug your belly in. Hi, Candace, so glad you're here. I'm so excited that you're here to take class. Hey Candace, grab a candle if you'd like to um, join us for meditation in a long sleeve shirt, towel, or strap. That's for all of you that may have just joined us, all right? And if not, I'll always give variations, I promise. From down dog, take a full breath in. Take a slow breath out. Inhale, look up to your hands. Exhale, ragdoll, walk your feet up, hip distance or wider. Find a nice, generous bend in your knees. Let your belly rest over your thighs. Relax your head down. Shake it out a little bit. Yes and no. You can press your pinkies and opposite elbow creases or just rest your arms down. Sometimes that feels nice to release all of the tension through your shoulders. Bring your weight into the balls of your feet just slightly to activate your lower abdominal muscles. Now you're welcome to keep your palms dangling or in ragdoll arms or find a chest expansion. This is where you might want to grab on your t-shirt, towel, or strap behind you. Roll your shoulders onto your back. And team, for today, find a micro bend in your elbows. Even if you can't fully straighten, that will open through your shoulders. And then stretch your arms overhead. If you have the full bind, you're welcome to take that as well. With the elbows slightly bent, feel that stretch across your shoulders and chest. One more breath in, full breath out, release your hands down, keep your feet hip distance or bring your feet all the way together, bend your knees, activate your abdominals and then inhale, rise up to stand, one bone at a time. Channeling my Los Angeles team, Core Power Yoga, shout out to all of you. Bring your hands to your heart center. You're always welcome to bring your arms down by your side, standing at attention. Today, team, our mantra, I choose the light. Today in our practice, choose to be the light. And always know that you have choices within the posture. Stay committed and focused to your breath, most importantly. Let's have fun and flow together. I choose the light, full breath in. Full breath out. Bring your feet together, come to the top of your mat, relax your arms down, inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, reach your arms high. For today, if it's comfortable, bring your palms together, cross your thumbs, Urdhva Hastasana. Push through your feet, pull your tailbone down, breathe well, stretch up, inhale, exhale, forward fold, pinching your hips all the way down. Inhale, high halfway lift, bring your hands to your mat, your shins or your thighs. Pull your shoulders onto your back. One more breath, inhale, exhale, low lunge. 
lay your left foot back and drop down to your left knee. Untuck your toes or keep them tucked if you want. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms high. Now push down through your front foot, your back knee. Pull them into the midline and that'll stabilize your hips and pelvis. Stretch your arms up, inhale. Exhale, shoulder tap, twist towards your right. So whatever leg is in front, twist in that direction. Firm your outer hips in, and then twist from your center. Come to center, inhale up. Exhale, pyramid, palms down, lift your hips up. Roll your outer left hip forward and draw your right hip crease back. Round over your front leg, and you can have a generous bend in your front knee if that feels good. Root down through the big toe mound of your right ball mound foot to feel the leg through your hamstrings. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, single leg plank. Lunge into your front foot. Shoot your right leg back. Breathe well. You can always come to your left knee just like this. Drive your right heel back. Roll your right inner thigh up. Take a full breath in. Exhale, right knee to right tricep. Pull it all the way in and up. Press into your palms. Squeeze and turn on your oblique muscles. Inhale, plank pose, rock forward. Broaden to your collarbones and then exhale, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, cobra pose. Press your palms down, drag them back to get bigger up through your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down, tuck your toes. Inhale, tabletop or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Full breath in, look up. Exhale, forward fold, feet together. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Urdhva Hastasana. Cross your thumbs, reach up. Right away, exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your mat, your shins or your thighs, breathe. Roll your shoulders back, and then see if you can get long on all sides of your neck. Squeeze your legs together. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, right leg. Take a big step back. Soften to your right knee. Inhale, crescent moon, Anjaniyasana. Press your front foot, back knee in, and feel how everything gets strong. Inhale, once more. Exhale, tap, shoulders, now twist to your left. Squeeze your inner thighs towards the midline of your body and then pull your navel in and up. Work a little bit further into your twist. Nice work. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, pyramid. Bring your palms down, tuck your back toes and stretch long through your front leg. Your front back heel probably won't touch the mat totally fine. Just work to lengthen through your left hamstrings. You can always bend your knee. Breathe in once more. Round over your leg, exhale. Inhale, single leg plank, lunge into your front foot, draw your left heel back. Now focus on breathing in and out through your nose. Stoke your internal fire today. Drive your left heel towards the back of your mat. Pull your chest to the front edge of your mat. Inhale, exhale, left knee to the left tricep. Pull it all the way in, get it as high as you can. Fire up your right quadricep to stabilize. Drive it higher. Inhale, high plank, rock forward. Exhale, lower to your belly. Untuck your toes. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower down. Tuck your toes. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, hips high, down dog. Team, that's our sun A. We're gonna flow one time side to side. Focus on your breath and always make choices that support you. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold, feet together. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold and stretch. Inhale, rise, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step your left foot back, lunge, drop your back knee and rise. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, shoulder tap, twist right. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, pyramid, right away, lift up. Inhale, single leg plank, let that on. Exhale, knee to your tricep, out and in, out and in. Exhale, good, keep breathing. If you want more heat, stay breathing in and out through your nose. Four, you've got it, three, drive your knee in. Two, one, finish the rep. Inhale, plank pose. This time, exhale, mid plank. 
Uncurl your toes. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press firmly through your fingertips. Draw your hips forward. Now activate your lower abs and pull the energy line all the way through the crown of your head. Breathe it. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right away, inhale, look up. Exhale, step, jump top of your mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Last Sunday. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right foot back, lunge. Drop your knee and rise. Inhale, crescent move. Exhale, shoulder tap, twist left. Twist, 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 squeeze it in, in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, pyramid, lift up, stretch. Inhale, single leg plank, here we go. Exhale, drive your knee in and up toward your tricep. Go back and in, back and in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Keep going. Drive your heel back and turn on your glutes. Press firmly through your palms and draw them into the midline to activate your chest. We've got four, breathe, three, plank pose in two. Yes, you can. One, inhale, plank, rock forward. Exhale, mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Push into your palms. Exhale, lift your hips, down dog. One breath in. Full breath out. And let's move on. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your legs. Inhale, chair pose. I'm going to face you. Utkatasana. Breathe well. Bring your weight back into your heels. Squeeze everything into your strong, strong center. Can you come back to your favorite shade of yellow? And draw your focus and awareness right there, right at your center core. Breathe in once more. Exhale, place your hands to your heart. Hovering prayer to us to your right. So just hover your left elbow toward your right knee. Pull your chest forward and see if you can work the rotation from the middle of your uh, spine. From here, inhale, single leg mountain pose. Lift your left leg up. Breathe. Wrap your triceps forward to broaden through your upper back and reach high. Inhale. Exhale, figure four. Press your palms together. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Draw your hips back and your chest forward. Flex your left toes to protect your knee. Inhale, single leg. Kick your heel out. Get strong. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Big, courageous step. All the way to the back of your mat. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, warrior two. Open up. And then find your alignment. Find heel to arch alignment. Press your feet down and pull them in strongly to the midline so you feel your pelvic floor pull into this pose. Stretch your arms courageously side to side and bring your gaze over your right fingertips. Inhale. Exhale, side angle. Right arm to your thigh. Swim your left arm up and overhead. Roll your top hip down. Pull your bottom right hip crease back and then stretch with enthusiasm up and over twist. Inhale, star, get big, reach up. Exhale, goddess pose, draw your elbows in. Feel how you draw your elbows in, all the muscles of your 360 core light up. Pull your elbows in, turn on your outer hips and glutes to draw your knees in line with your toes, get low. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two, once again, front of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, send your right arm high, if you want more of a stretch, reach up and back. Light up your outer right glute and hip to stack your knee over your right toes. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, windmill your palms down. Now square your hips first, then inhale, standing L. This is for you, Chicago and Minnesota. Drive your heel back, pull your right hip forward. Inhale, lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend your legs. Inhale, chair pose, reach up and breathe. Feel your inner fire already starting to burn brightly. Squeeze everything in. Focus and commit to your breath. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to heart. Hovering prayer twist now to your left. So the intention here, team, is not to hook the elbow just yet, right? Find that committed effort and choose to work a little differently in this posture to activate your internal and external obliques. Come to center. Inhale, single leg. Bring your right leg up. You can always bring your tippy toes to the mat. Now pack your outer left hip in to bring everything into your strong center. Inhale, 
Exhale, hands to heart, figure four. Press your palms together so much, it lights up the front line of your body. Flex your toes. Inhale, single leg, keep your heel out, out, out. Exhale, crescent, all the way back, low lunge. Once you land, inhale, warrior two, open your arms long. Press your feet down, same thing, draw them in, in, in. You can even feel your inner thighs get stronger and a bigger part of this pose. Reach in, breathe in and reach left. Exhale, side angle. Right arm high or overhead is my favorite choice to get ma maximum side body stretch. Roll your right hip slightly down. Pull your left hip back. Drive through your back heel and then twist open towards the sky. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, or goddess pose rather, elbows in. Activate, draw your elbows in. So you feel your lats get strong, your 360 core ignites. Inhale, rise. Exhale, warrior two, adjust your feet. Maintain your long lunge. Inhale, reverse warrior, and breathe into the sides of your torso, all the way down to your toes. One more breath in. Exhale, low lunge, hands down. Inhale, standing yell, launch up. Now draw your left hip back. I can even feel I really needed to do that to stabilize and then get strong and active through your right leg. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, we flow. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hover prayer twist right. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, figure four, press into your palms. Find your breath, inhale, kick. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms landed. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess, drive your elbows in. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior, you're doing awesome. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, fold forward, bend your knees. Inhale, chair. Exhale, hover, prayer twist left, I see you. Inhale, single leg, right leg high. Exhale, figure four, don't forget, flex your toes. Inhale, single leg, kick, kick, kick. Exhale, big step back, lunge. Open up, inhale, warrior two, fierce warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Breathe big, star pose. Exhale, goddess, get a little lower. Inhale, star. Exhale, two to the front. Keep your lunge in reverse, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing up. Exhale, forward fold. We add, inhale, chair. Exhale, full prayer twist. Here we go. Bring your left elbow all the way over toward your right knee. Or maybe today it's bring your knee and elbow to your inner thighs. That's fine. Squeeze everything in. That'll stabilize. And then you can really work the twist right at your solar plexus. Pull your navel in all the way up toward your sternum. Pull your shoulder blades onto your back. And as you draw your left hip back, roll your left ribs open. Stay here. Let's all commit to three more breaths. Inhale. Twist. Exhale. You're in the fire. Stay in it. Breathe in. Squeeze and twist. Exhale. One more full breath. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Twist. Woo. Inhale. Single leg. Lift your left leg up. Exhale. Figure four. Breathe here. Press your palms together. You can stay here. If you were with me last week, this is the same add-on. Bring your right hand to your hip. Draw your left knee toward your left shoulder. Now look from the sides, shoulders, hips, standing foot, all in one line. Pack your outer right hip in. Get strong and long. Stay right here if you want. You can grab onto your towel or strap to your body or wrap around the ball of your foot or grab your big toe with your peace fingers and kick your heel out. Roll your shoulders onto your back. Option to extend your right arm fiercely up overhead or to the side. Squeeze everything in. Focus and commit to your breath for four, three, single leg mountain in two. Come to center. Woo, one. Inhale, single leg mountain pose. Exhale, go through airplane pose just for a moment. You need to tap down like I just did fine. And then see if you can bend further into your right leg. Take a big, great step back. Inhale, warrior two, rise up. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, star. Exhale, goddess pose. 
First, Kriya, which is a yoga exercise, helps to ignite our internal fire. This particular one, since we're focusing on our core solar plexus in uh, the chakra system, it's called Manipura, lustrous gem. So bring your elbow or fingertips onto your shoulders. Draw your elbow tips up in line. Bring your gaze forward, and we're just gonna twist side to side. We'll do it slow a couple of times. So inhale, twist right. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, twist right. Exhale, twist left. Now this might be just enough, team. You're getting a lot of strength here through your lower body, working your internal obliques, external obliques as well. And if you want to move a little faster that makes the Kriya exercise, you can join along. It's right and left, right and left. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, or in through your nose, out through your mouth. Stay in it, commit. It's a little uncomfortable. That's when you stoke your inner fire. Shine bright, get lower, and do the work. It's eight, seven, six, five. You've got it, four, three, yes, two, Finish it out on one. Inhale, star. I felt that in my quads as well. Woo! Exhale, warrior two. Breathe well. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, lunge. Inhale, stand and yell. Exhale, all the way to seat and twist. Come all the way down on your sit bones. You're welcome to extend your left leg out like this in front of you or keep it tucked underneath. Place your right hand behind you. Hug your right knee in toward your left shoulder. Sit up, really tall, inhale. Press your right sit bone down and then twist toward your right. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stay as you are or grab the knife edge of your foot for dancing Shiva, seated variation. Kick your right leg long and option to extend your right arm long. Pull up through your torso. So utilize all of your core muscles that we've already strengthened to stabilize this pose. Relax your shoulders and your gaze. One more breath in. Exhale, counter twist. Place your foot back down. Just a little counter twist over to the other side. And then inhale, boat pose. Let's do it. Bring your feet up or bring your tippy toes onto the floor. You can always bring your hands behind you. Shoulders draw back. I'm gonna face you this way so you can see what I'm doing. From here, cross your left leg up and over your right. Bring your right arm up and through. So my legs are making a little pocket here. Bring your arm through. You can bring your toes to the floor. And then squeeze like a panini press. Bring your legs around your arm. Good. Commit to it. You can do it. And then high five, high ten, side wall behind you. Smile your collarbone. Bring your triceps in. Lift up through your chest. So I'll go all the way around so you can see from this side. So your legs are in both pose with your left ankle crossed over. Twist over. Lift up through your chest. You've got it, you've got it. Four, three, stay with your breath. Two, lift up through your crown. And one, slowly unravel. Shake your legs out a little bit. Nice work, everybody. Cross your ankles. Down dog. Let's go. Breathe in. Full breath out. Let's balance it out, other side. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Breathe deep, exhale, fold, bend your legs. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, full prayer twist over to your left. Hook your right elbow to your thigh. In between your thighs or outer knee. Squeeze your inner thighs and outer hips in. Activate your glute muscles and see if that can drive your heart up even more towards your thumbs. It's all connected. Breathe well. Pull the crown of your head forward and draw your hips a little lower. And then guess what? Now we have three breaths. Breathe in. Twist. Exhale. Stay in it. You've got it, Renee. Inhale. Twist it out. Yes, Diane. Exhale. I know you're a committed warrior girl. Full breath in. Stay. Exhale. Twist. And here we go. Inhale, single leg mountain pose. Lift your right leg up. Exhale, figure four. Press your palms together. You're welcome to stay right as you are. Or bring your left hand to your sacrum. Draw your right knee up towards your shoulder. 
Draw your shoulders onto your back. Find an axial extension as you stretch the crown up toward the ceiling, towards the sky, towards the sun. Or grab onto your big toe. Extend your leg out. It's a slight diagonal. Extended big toe. B, like that. Pull your shoulders onto your back. Stretch your left arm up through the overhead. Find courage and commitment and choose to breathe well wherever you're at. Last four, three, two, one. Inhale, single leg, pull it to center. Go through airplane pose. You can do it, you can do it. All the way down, slowly. Woo, lower down. Inhale, star. Or other warrior two, this is warrior two, yes. Exhale, side angle pose, twist. Woo, inhale, star pose now. Exhale, goddess pose. I'm gonna turn and face you for this one. Final Kriya of the afternoon. Make this. Now this is where you need to commit. I trust that you're gonna be with me, all right? Draw your knees in line with your toes. Activate your glutes and your core. With your inhale, stretch your arms out long. With your exhale, you'll pull your elbows into your side body. It's a nice pull right into your side and kidneys. Now you can keep it slow. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, or join me for the Kriya. It's nice and fast, only 10 seconds. Here we go. Exhale, 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 exhale. Five, four, you've got it. Three, two, one. Inhale, reach. I'm gonna face the other side. Exhale, warrior two to the left. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, standing L. Drive your right leg up. Exhale, seated twist. Come all the way down. Really nice work, team. You've got it. Bring your hips down. Pull your knee in. And that'll help to stretch along your outer hip. Press your outer left hip down. And then twist. Stay as you are. Or grab onto the knife edge of your foot with your hand. And kick out. Extend your left arm, or rather, yeah, your left arm off. Got a few comments coming in, so breathe into whatever twist you've chosen. Nice work. Thanks for committing to your practice. We've got a little more work to do. Of course, we can't forget belly up core. Yeah, Renee. Take one more breath in your twist. And then exhale, counter twist, other side. And then breathe in, meet me in boat pose, Navasana. Draw your shoulders onto your back. Hands behind your thighs if you want. And then this time, cross your opposite ankle on top. Draw your shoulder blades together, lift your chest up. And then this is a kind of a teaser for our arm balance that we're doing today, eight ankle pose. Sweep your right arm through and then squeeze your legs on your arm. And then give me a high five, both hands, draw your shoulder blades together, squeeze your legs together, and then pull your heart up as high as you can. Stay committed for four. You've got this three. Reverse tabletop is in two. Woo, on one, from the center. Round your feet down, press your palms into the mat. Inhale, reverse tabletop, should feel good on your hip flexors. Drive your feet down and in, turn on the back line of your body, breathe in. Exhale, staff pose, draw your hips back. Woo, I got you. lift your hips up, you've got it. Draw your hips back, push, push. Lift as much as you can, even if it's energetically. Can you commit and choose your strength? Your strength in this moment. Lift one or both feet up. I can only get one at a time for four. Maybe the other foot. Three. Come on, stay in it. If you've lowered, lift up. Last two. And then we lower down on one. Circle your wrists out a little bit. You can feel that, yes. Lower on your back. We've got some belly and core work to do. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Figure four crunches. Draw your elbows wide or narrow. Do what feels good on your neck. Here we go. It's lift. Lower, lift, lower, exhale, exhale. You're welcome to stay right here or bring your left leg up to reverse tabletop. Flex your toes nice and strong. Eight, seven, six, 
seven, half happy baby twist, six, five, four, three, last two, and finish the rep, one, half happy baby, grab your right foot with your right hand, drive your left heel forward, twist to the right, lower down, twist, lower, twist, lower, breathe out as you twist, breathe out, focus on your exhale, again, you can still keep internal heat, lift seal, or open mouth, exhale, you've got this, draw your shoulder blades off of your, off of your mat, if you are able to, you can always bring your left foot down, or you can bend your knee, stay in it, here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, I call this Pilates crunch, three, last two, one, lift your shoulders, grab onto whatever you can on your right leg, you can bend your leg, hover your left foot, take a little tiny exhale, exhale, pulse, 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 get your shoulder blades up, eight, seven, stretch your toes, six, five, you've got it, four, three, two, Kimmy Co brought us olive bread, so I have to earn my olive bread today. You know I'm gonna put butter on that thing. It's yellow, right? Here we go, lower down. Woo, other side, here we go. Cross your left ankle over your right. Hands behind your head. Lift, right into it. Don't even think about it. Exhale, exhale. Tabletop your right leg. It's always an option, flex your toes. Drive your left knee away from you so you can feel that stretch through your hips. Good, press your low belly down every time up. Final four, three, two, half happy baby twist. On one, grab your left foot, drive your right heel out, bring your knee over your ankle, you can grab behind your thigh. Here we go, twist left, center, left, center, exhale, exhale. Keep going everyone, come on, let's commit all the way to the end. When things get tough, this is their opportunity to show up, to shine bright, even if it's challenging, let this exercise be a practice just in that. Yes, I didn't stop counting, four, yep, three, Pilates stretch, two, now can you get your shoulder blades off the mat? I trust that you're working toward that. Tug, 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 it's little, press through your toes, feel that stretch through your hamstrings, draw your shoulder blades off of your mat, Work to straighten your legs, and as you activate your quads, guess what? Your hamstrings get longer. Eight. Yes, seven. Five, six. Woo! Five. Shoulders up. Four. Yes, three. I'm sweating. I don't know about you. Two. And one. We're done. Hug your knees in. Woo! I don't know about you, but I need a bridge pose, so let's do it. Bring your feet down, arms down, lift up, hop. Be a little baby bridge, or if you want to, place your hands underneath you. Press your feet down. Roll your inner thighs down, and then lift your hips up a little higher. Breathe in. <sighs> Lower down. Hug your knees in. Rock and roll a couple of times. Down dog, friends. Let's go. We've got some work to do. Downward facing dog. And then once you're in down dog, find a moment to just be still. Commit to stillness, that's hard, right? It's hard for me. Lift your hips up. Don't worry about the alignment of the pose, who cares? Focus on your breathing. Focus on how your body's feeling right now. And can you make the choice to show up for yourself for the rest of your practice? Let go of other distractions. If your eyes are closed, come back to your favorite shape. Right on up to the sky. Commit to your strength. 
strength can you work just a little deeper into the pose don't worry about what it looks like focus and celebrate your strength your commitment to yourself your breath and your body inhale just unravel your left leg exhale warrior one stance so big step back adjust your feet pull your left hip forward a little bit doesn't matter if your hips are perfectly square right we're not perfect Lift your elbows up. Inhale, breathe well. Feel the opening and stretch through your shoulders. Draw your front hip points up towards your low ribs to get long on all sides of your torso. Then take one more big courageous breath. Inhale, up, 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 up. Exhale, eagle arm, humble warrior, all the way down. Woo. Pull your light hip back a little bit more now that you're down here. Relax the crown of your head. And then slowly release your hands. Bring your right shoulder, backpack your right shoulder underneath your right leg. I'm gonna face this way a little bit. From here, bring your right hand out like a cupcake. Thank you, Kimiko, she also made us chocolate cake, so I need to work really hard for the next 25 minutes. Squeeze your right inner thigh towards the midline of your body. Now, left hand, place it on your right foot. And then, lift your hips up a little bit. Just commit to a little bit, that's all you need to do. And then twist your gaze, peekaboo, underneath your left arm. Feel that amazing stretch, probably everywhere in your entire body. Breathe into it, and when it gets uncomfortable, you know what, we commit to one more breath, or maybe three more, full breath in. Stay, exhale, you can do this. Two more, inhale. Full breath out, exhale. This was easy, guess what, none of us would be here right now. One more breath in. Oh my goodness, Some wide leg forward fold. Ha. Adjust your feet. Just a heads up, you might get a little sore tomorrow. You're welcome, relax your head. Okay, inhale, halfway lift. Point your toes on a slight diagonal. Exhale, skandhasana, left knee, bend your left knee. Work to stretch your right leg straight. It doesn't have to be all the way straight. If you have some props to sit on, you're welcome to. Or just bring your hands out in front of you, team. Draw your right toes skyward so your knee tracks with your ankle. Flex your toes slightly. And then I like to drag my right heel so the leg is straight down. And then pull it in towards the midline of your body. So then you're getting strong and long, boom, simultaneously on your right leg. Hands to prayer if you'd like a little more core and balance challenge. Shaking is good. Smiling's even better. Roll your shoulders down. Take a full breath in. Exhale, lunge back to the top of your mat. And then have a seat. Grab onto your strap, your towel. What is this? T-shirt. I'm gonna set my candle aside. Last thing I wanna do is catch something on fire that would not be good. And then from here, <clears throat> meet me in seated figure four. I'm gonna face you. Cross your right ankle over. So if you're facing me, you're probably on the opposite leg. Michelle, South if you're watching, I'm gonna practice by mirroring next time. Come side to side. Now you're welcome to stay right here. Tons of layers, team. So this is layer one. Really great option to commit focus here on the stretch and opening through your hips, okay? If you'd like to move on, cradle the baby. Bring your right foot to the crook of your left elbow. Stretch your bottom leg small or bend it underneath you, whatever feels more stable. And then just rock a little side to side. Your spine might round a little bit, but that's fine. But work to broaden your collarbones. You're all doing fantastic. Hmm. And then from here, this will continue to add layers. Again, you can stay figure four. You can do cradle the baby, or we call this backpack asana. Grab onto your right foot and bring your right leg up and over your right shoulder. Then with your strap or your towel, okay, maybe twist it up a little bit. Bring that around your right foot, just like this. Make like a strap around your foot. And then backpack your leg a little bit more. Now suck your leg into your shoulder and pull your shoulder into your leg. Cupcake tend your fingertips like you did in Warrior One, that favorite pose that we did just a minute ago. And then sundial pose, kick your leg out and roll your chest open. Now your right hip might lift, that's okay. Give yourself permission. Commit to the variation that feels good. Roll open. And final 
earlier today, if you'd like to work into an arm balance, let your strap go, Ostavakrasana, eight angle pose. Hamstring curl your leg onto your shoulder, and then the leg that's floating, cross your ankle up and over. Find your wide hand, chaturanga arm frame, roll your shoulders back, like pendant pose that we did at the very beginning. Work to start to lift your hips up a little bit. Bring your weight into your hands, hips up a little bit. If you wanna move on, to draw your hips back even farther, and then eventually squeeze everything in like we did in boat pose. So Panini press your legs into your arm, work to stretch your legs out to the side, broaden your collarbones, bring your chest forward, elbows draw back, eight angle pose. That's not in your practice today? Hey, maybe it's figure four. So play around a little bit. I'll give you about 30 more seconds. Nice work, everyone. You've got it. Remember, we call this about, we call this yoga practice for a reason. It's not yoga perfect. So have fun. Just play around on your mat. Just commit to maybe not taking yourself so seriously. Thanks, Linz. Awesome work, team. All right, when you've had enough, wherever you're at, let's meet in Baddha Konasana. Just to release through your lower back. Place the soles of your feet together, butterfly your knees open. Woo, round over your legs, shake it out. You can butterfly your legs a little bit. And then roll up to a seat. Here we go. Home stretch, grab on your strap, make sure it's near you. Down dog. From down dog, take one strong breath in. One strong breath out. Let's go. Inhale, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees. Inhale, chair pose. Now it's eagle on the right. Exhale, right arm under. Right leg up and over. Squeeze it. Bring your gaze in front of you. We call that a drishti focus point that helps you to one balance and center yourself. And then out in front of you, bring your favorite shade of yellow and bring into the mantra, I commit to the light right here. Steepen it, squeeze everything in. Squeeze everything into your strength right now. And when it gets a little uncomfortable, how do you want to choose to show up? Four, three, two, just your right leg. Inhale. Exhale, warrior one legs. Big step. Way back. Adjust your feet. So look down and adjust your feet a little bit. I like to widen my left foot out a little bit. And then just roll your right inner thigh so that's your back leg up slightly towards the, um, towards the back. Okay, roll it back. And then it'll help to stabilize you. Pull your left hip back a little. And then pull your bottom front hip point. So right here, rather than going too excessive in a back bend, find stability. Just draw them up. Feel that stretch through your psoas. Inhale. Find a heart. Lift. Breathe through your shoulders. Get long on all four sides of your neck. So our tendency, even me, is kind of just like let the head hang. Pull it into part of the pose, part of the integrity of the pose, right? How can you find integrity in this posture? Integrity in the choices that you're making right now when things are, let's be honest, unique and different. Breathe in. Exhale, eagle arm, humble warrior. Come on in. Stand it for a second. Pull your left hip back as much as you can. Draw down through your left big toe mound and then squeeze your left inner thigh into your strong body. Release your hands. Backpack your left shoulder underneath. Ooh. Find your cupcake with your left hand. Right hand. Put it onto your front foot. Work to stretch your hips up just a little bit. It's just a little bit. And then roll your gaze open towards the right. Hello. Woo. We have to balance it out. So let's commit to three more breaths. I'm trusting that you're in it with me. I can't see you, but I can feel you. Two more breaths right here. One more, team. Come on, one more breath. Oh, release. Wide-legged forward fold. Adjust your feet. 
Shake your hips out a little bit. It takes a lot of courage to be in a wide-legged forward fold on YouTube facing away from the camera. Can I just tell you that right now? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana. Bend your right leg. Roll your shoulders back. Work to flex your toes up. Your right heel, it might touch the mat. For me, I'm able to stabilize if I stay on the ball of the foot. Roll your shoulders back. Hands to prayer if you'd like. Stretch the energy through your heel and then drag it down and right back into your strong center. You've got this. Breathe well. Activate your left quadriceps, front of your thigh, and then find more length through your inner thigh muscle. One more breath in. Here we go. Exhale, low lunge, and then all the way down to a seat, and then I'll face you again. It's all downhill from here, I promise. Stay in it though, okay? Gotta commit with me till the end. Don't just sit there and watch, do something. Cross your ankle over your thigh. Bring your hands behind you. Sit up tall, flex your toes. Seated figure four. Amazing work and commitment, everyone. I know you are in it with me this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for committing to your practice. For showing up today, for joining me. If you want, move into a cradle the baby. Again, you can always stay layer one. Cradle the baby. Bring your foot to the crook of your elbow. Broaden your collarbones. Bring your heel up towards the level of your knee. It's okay if your spine rounds. If you want to move on, we've got backpack asana, backpack pose. Bring your left leg up and over. You're like, this is easy compared to the other variation of where you're going, right? Well, perspective, it's all a choice. Now, if you want, you can stay in backpack asana or grab on your t-shirt or strap once again. Wrap it around your foot. You can also bend to extend your bottom leg out. Squeeze in. So squeeze your leg into your shoulder. Press your shoulder into your leg. That helps to hook everything into your strong center. Find your cupcake out to the side. And then as you extend your leg out, twist open. Press your arm into your leg. Now if you have it, you can grab on your foot and work into the full pose. Or use your strap. Dial your heart up to the sunshine. Even if you can't see it, you can feel it. You know it's there. Choose to find the light. And take one more breath in. And then a final layer if you'd like to. Eight angle pose. Okay. Readjust your leg on top. Those of you that are working on this pose, you know what? It takes a lot of practice. It took me quite a long time. You have to find the strength, the flexibility, and really this pose is all about committing, right? Committing to falling out and picking yourself up, dusting yourself off, and then you do it again. Right leg up and over. So whatever foot is floating, that's the one that goes on top. Hands out, shoulder distance. I like wider than shoulder distance, okay? Broaden your collarbones. We've been doing that today. And then just shift your weight into your hands. <clears throat> want to squeeze in right so like you did in boat pose squeeze in so the tighter you are to your center the lighter you will feel and then start to shift your hips back so your center of gravity goes back your heart yearns forward and then as your hips lift up stretch your legs out smile your collarbones breathe maybe smile through your face if you fall you're only inches away give it another shot and then when you're like, all right, I'm done with that one. Let's come back to Bhattakonasana and start to wind down. Round through your spine. Draw your knees out. Take a breath. Recognize your efforts. Nice work, everyone. Love you, Holly. Thanks for joining. One of my soul sisters lives in San Diego. Fantastic work today, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment. Thanks, Lindsay. Like I shared earlier, our yoga practice is just that, it's a practice. 
And now more than ever, it's so important that we're getting onto our mat. Even if you don't have a full 60 minutes, just moving your body, breathing, relaxing. Mahalo, Noel. Thank you for being here. All right, roll up to a seat, seated, separate leg stretching. <clears throat> Extend your right leg out on a diagonal, bend your left knee in. Square your shoulders towards your right leg and just round. So now it's a choice to let go of all the little kind of technical things and just round over your leg. You can bend your knee a little or a lot. Feel that nice release through your QLs, your side body, your hips, your low back and your hamstrings. Full breath in, full breath out. Then slowly roll up to a seat, place your left hand behind you. I like to call this baby wild thing, feels so good. Lift your hips up, draw your shin down, your right foot down, your left palm down to find freedom along the front line of your body. Breathe it and exhale lower down. Other side. Seated, separate leg with stretching. Draw your shoulders so they're somewhat square to your left leg. Round forward. Full breath in. Take a slow breath out. Inhale, rise up. Baby wild thing, lift your hips. Whatever is touching your floor, your mat, the earth, get strong, press down to lift up, lift up, lift up. Breathe in. Exhale, lower down. Quick set of seated forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Walk your hips back. Roll your inner thighs down slightly. You can bend your knees and then round again over your legs. Choose your palms up or palms down. Full breath in, full breath out. Slowly rise up, lower down onto your back. Grab your hands behind your thighs to slow and mindfully lower down. Hug your knees into your heart. Our final pose today, happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Bring your knees wide. Grab onto your feet or behind your thighs. If there's another pose that your body needs today, you're welcome to take that posture just for one full minute. If you're taking a double-sided pose, then I will let you know when it's been 30 seconds. This is our final posture before final rest. I miss you, Pam. Love you so much. If you're taking a double-sided pose, please choose the other side, 30 more seconds. If you're in happy baby, draw your knees into your chest and just circle your knees a few times to your right, a few times to your left. Thank you so much for joining us, Katharina. What a beautiful name. And then together, bring your knees into your heart. Wrap your arms around your shins. Curl your forehead up into your shins. Recognize and celebrate your amazing strength, your light. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, final rest, Shavasana. Extend your limbs long. Take up as much space as you can this afternoon. Bring your shoulder blades onto your back, so our tendency is to have the shoulders here. So you can wiggle your shoulder blades onto your back, down, so your heart is elevated and free. I will mind the time for you for two minutes. It's two minutes. And then we're gonna roll up and go right into our seated meditation. But for now, two minutes to relax. breath flow in and out of your body effortlessly. Those of you that are joining us for meditation will be starting in just one and a half minutes.
choice to be still is difficult. Yes, 300 humans in Shavasana, Lindsay. Before you find any movement, simply commit to three breaths while you are still. Full body breath in, full body breath out. Two more, inhale. Rock your head side to side. When it feels right, draw your knees into your heart. Roll on to what's the most comfortable side of your mat. Use your bottom arm as a pillow to rest your head. Just take a moment to ground. Let's all come up to a comfortable seat. Soften your gaze. And one of my dearest friends and mentors, Marissa Hamill, she says this at the end of class, and she's been, she and her family are always on my mind and my heart. And she always shares after every class when my light and your light and the light of the universe connect, we are one. Stay. Thank you so much, team. If you'd like to join me for a meditation, it'll be about five minutes long. You're comfortable to either lie back down, find a comfortable seat. If you're with me at the beginning of class, I encouraged everybody to get a candle. So I have a candle here, it's actually yellow. Um, if you don't have a candle, you're welcome to grab something yellow, uh, just something beautiful in your house. We have a lot of precious stones around our house just to keep the energy light and pure and clean. Uh, so whatever that is, and if not, you're always welcome. Wood, core power wood fire candle, I love it, Renee. Um, so whatever that is, team, and um, our meditation really is just to either bring our attention to focus on the candle. Mine's just gonna come down right in front of me. Thank you everybody for joining us. Um, and one of, uh, one of my favorite artists, India Ari, she has this song called I Am Light. And as I was going on my morning walk this morning, I was sort of humming it to myself. Uh, if you've never heard that song, Google it, it's amazing. And one of the lines in that beautiful song is, I am not the color of my eyes. I am not the skin on the outside. I am not my age. I am not my race. My soul inside is all light. All light, all light. So our guided meditation, my invitation to you is to focus, whether it's the candle, an inner gaze, whatever lights you up, 
and just silently repeat to yourself, inhale, I choose. Exhale, the light. Inhale, I choose. Exhale, the light. If you have a candle burning, just notice the flicker of the light or whatever that is, your inner gaze and work to bring all of your attention, your vision, your focus on that. The sense of the third energy center, Manipura, is sight. And now we go into our meditation, not just the outer sight, but our vision inward, where it really matters. Inhale, I choose. Exhale, the light. I'll keep music playing and I will mind the time for you. We'll come back to three breaths. mantra of I choose the light and personalize your experience or just simply keep your focus and attention on your candle flickering flame or something else that you've chosen to bring all of your focus to. Slow breath in. A 
slow breath out. sweetheart. Love you so much. Jai, Nicole, thank you, thank you. Christine, thank you so much. Team, if you're joining me on Saturdays, we're starting a new flow that I haven't thought through yet or created. So if there's something that you're wanting to work on or break down, um, type it into the chat function. I'd love to know what lights you up. Um, within your yoga practice, what do you want to work on together and practice next week? So if you are able to join me, please let me know. I'm happy to take any suggestions. And Lisa, Jason, I love you so much. Thank you. Alex, thank you. Um, happy to take suggestions on what you'd like to work together on next Saturday and work towards some strength builder, something that will open up, strengthen your body. Um, to work and practice, right? Because that's what this is all about, is simply that, a practice, to show up on our mat, be present. Thank you, Amanda. Kimmy, thank you, love you so much. Your class last week was awesome too. John, thank you very much. Full splits, Angela. Woo! All right, girl. I can work into that. Maybe not full splits, but <laughs> towards that, right? Just to practice. Oh, Lindsay's in it too. joining from London. Wow. Not sure what time it is there, but thank you so much for coming to your mat. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a beautiful Saturday. Namaste.